Hello, today I am not going to repair a synthesizer. I'm not going to open it up and show you how it all works. Uh, and I'm not even going to make any sounds from it. The reason for that is I picked this up off the car boot sale really cheap. And uh, I've had the back off. I've had a quick look around. One of the transistors just fell out of the back. And uh, there's a few other components missing. By the time I've wasted hours and hours and hours going through schematics to find out which bits should go where, is it worth actually repairing? No, I don't think so. But uh, I think this is worth more to me as spare parts. You'll see even the screws are missing. Uh, there's some interesting chips on here. There's some uh, little amplifier chips and things and lots of switches and buttons and even the keyboard itself could be useful. So this basically is a tear down and not put back together video. So, so there's plenty of evidence that uh, somebody got here before I did. Like I say, most of the screws are already out. What am I gonna get for my small fee that I paid for this? I really don't want to spend hours and hours and hours trying to reconstruct this board. When you've got sort of bare holes with components missing, there's, there's no clue as to what it was. So it's not worth the repair. Now, I do have drawers and boxes full of spare components. Uh, the reason for that is if you just need one particular transistor to to fix an item it can take you days to get that transistor i mean you you have have to either order it off uh, the internet and wait for the post for it to arrive or you have to go down to maplins and just hope that they might actually carry spare parts so what do i get out of this well I've got some nice MIDI connectors here. That, that's going to be handy for some future little projects. There's plenty of jack sockets here. I've got loads of those anyway, but I'll take those off. Uh, there's some nice little power transistors here. I mean, I'm not sure if they're working, if they're blown. The capacitors, I don't really bother so much with capacitors. I mean, I, I, yeah, I'll throw them in a separate little box for... Uh, future emergencies only but i prefer to put new capacitors into uh, keyboards and synthesizers rather than secondhand ones uh, there's a, a few interesting chips on here like i say that's the uh, little sort of i'm not sure if that's a three watt stereo amplifier all on one chip there that could be handy for a little project there's a lot of 4000 series chips there's your little op amp for your uh, midi input there potentiometers and things. I'll just break off the connectors here and I'll, I'll just put the whole board under the table and one day when I'm digging around for a component that's when I start to bring all the boards out and I look for the piece that I want. Uh, I really haven't got the time to sit and desolder every single item on here. There may be a day when you just need that one little op amp and you haven't got one in the drawer. Time to be brutal and rip these wires off. Some of the cables, if they've got uh, standard size plugs on the other end, I'll keep those as well. Like I say, this is not a repair video. This is a destruction video. <laughs> some of these devices can carry some very interesting microchips. I don't know a lot about this particular keyboard because I didn't want to tempt myself too much to get it repaired. You see, that whole board, I shall just put under the table and make a mental note that I've got some MIDI connectors and, and things. Now, the keyboard is always handy to keep. This is a matrix type keyboard because it has rows of uh, small, diodes on it and uh, that works very much in the same manner as the keyboard on these little boutiques these are little 25 key keyboards and there's a connector sort of similar to that 
that connects the keyboard to the unit. It's, it's not a MIDI keyboard, it's literally just a little matrix keyboard that has all the diodes in it instead to make a, a sort of a matrix. So yeah, maybe bigger keys. Hmm, can I get this to talk to this? Well, no, because this will only accept 25 keys. Here we have a, a couple of uh, long faders. Who knows? Could be useful. These pitch and modulation wheels could be handy for future little projects, I guess. Hmm. See, I'm getting ideas already. Maybe I could use all these pots to build a synthesizer. That's like chopping a boat up to make a raft. Headphone socket on its own little board. So there you go. Nice keyboard there. This might be a little bit interesting for, for you guys. If a transistor begins with 2S, I could tell you that these transistors are PNPs and these transistors are NPNs. And let me explain to you how that is. It's quite simple. After the 2S, the next digit will be an A, a B, a C or a D. If that digit is an A or B, then it's a PNP. If it's a C or a D, then it's an NPN. And that's always the case if it begins with 2S. So that, that's a handy little thing to know. Sometimes if you're looking for a, a transistor and it says 2SA, whatever, you know it's a PNP. Nice little power switch. And this is all for the bin. So there you go. Uh, it's always handy rather than just get something like this and throw the entire thing into a bin. Uh, dismantle it. Use the parts. I've got a nice uh, five octave keyboard here. OK, it hasn't got after touch or anything, but uh, hmm, it could be handy for something. Uh, lots of LEDs, push buttons and things. Nice circuit board with lots and lots of uh, useful bits and pieces on there. By the way, if you've got one of these Casio HZ600s and you need a particular part, do get in touch and I'll be happy to send it over to you. Uh, card reader, nice pair of little faders there. Mod and pitch wheel. Now, they would cost more than what I just paid for the whole keyboard, really. So just in that bit alone. Uh, ideas. Power switches. Pots, uh, 105 screws, and oh, sorry, 106 screws. Uh, and there you go. So don't throw it away, take it apart, keep the bits, could be handy for something in the future. Uh, all the best, thank you very much for watching.